Dear Chosen One, Today we are gathered to discuss a date that has captivated the attention of many. October 9, 2024. A date surrounded by speculations, signs, and a heightened awareness that the heavens themselves are preparing for something profound. But before you dive into these predictions, I urge you to take this message with a spirit of discernment. Ask God to open your heart to reveal His truth. For while signs can guide us, it is His Word that lights our path. There are those who have dedicated their lives to understanding the biblical prophecies, to deciphering God's timeline. And they have concluded that on October 9th of this year, something extraordinary may appear in the sky. This day, they say, is when the four horsemen of Revelation could be seen, a signal of the approaching end times. Now, let me pause here and say this clearly. No one, not prophets, mathematicians, or scholars, knows the exact day or hour of Christ's return except our Father in heaven. The Lord Himself has said that He will come like a thief in the night. So, while we examine these signs, our focus should not be on the date itself, but on the condition of our hearts. Are we ready to meet Him whenever that day comes? As we discuss October 9th, 2024, you will hear many voices, some proclaiming that the rapture will happen, others stating that this marks the beginning of the tribulation, the 70th week of Daniel. These voices, though passionate, are human interpretations of God's timeline. What matters more than the date is how we prepare spiritually each and every day. The truth is that the rapture isn't simply about escaping tribulation. It's about transformation, about walking in step with God every moment of your life. The Bible tells us that in the days of Noah, people went about their lives unaware of the impending flood. They ate, drank, married, and lived as though the warnings meant nothing. And then, the flood came, and it was too late. Could this happen again? Absolutely. When Jesus returns, many will be unprepared. Not because they were not warned but because they ignored the signs and lived focused on earthly concerns rather than their relationship with God. So, as you hear these predictions about October 9th, don't let fear drive your response. Instead, let love and devotion to Christ guide you. The rapture isn't about scrambling to get things right in the final hour. It's about living each day in readiness, walking in righteousness, and growing closer to God in a continuous, unbroken relationship. What's important is daily readiness, not dates many believers today are caught up in date setting, eager to know the exact time of Christ's return so they can make a last-minute sprint towards repentance. But let me share this truth with you. Living for Jesus is not about racing to the finish line when we think the end is near. It's about pacing ourselves on the long journey of faith growing stronger and more steadfast with every step. Our lives should reflect the peace and assurance that come from walking closely with God every single day. If we focus solely on October 9th, we might lose sight of the bigger picture. The rapture is not just about being taken up into the clouds. It's about becoming more Christ-like, allowing the Holy Spirit to sanctify us daily. We are called to live lives of love, integrity, and faithfulness to be the light in a dark world. The signs in the heavens, what do they mean? Now, regarding the signs in the sky that many expect to see on October 9th, it is true that God often speaks through His creation. The Bible mentions signs in the heavens, and we cannot dismiss them. These signs are wake-up calls, reminding us that time is running short and that Jesus is indeed coming soon. But, as important as these signs are, they should not become our sole focus. They are meant to point us back to the Word, to remind us of the urgency of living for Christ today. Jesus told us that when He returns, it will be as it was in the days of Noah, a time when people were distracted by worldly matters. Let us not be like those who ignored the warnings. Instead, let us be like the wise virgins in the parable, who kept their lamps filled with oil, always ready for the bridegroom's arrival. Are your lamps filled? Is your heart prepared? Living with eternal focus, dear child of God, 
The call today is not to live in fear of an impending rapture, but to live in the peace and assurance that you are walking in alignment with God's will. How do you live in readiness? By loving God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and by loving others as yourself. By forgiving, by living in humility, by seeking God in every situation. It's easy to become overwhelmed by the chaos in the world, the wars, the disasters, the lawlessness. But Jesus warned us that these things would happen. These signs remind us that the time is short, but they should not become distractions. They should motivate us to press deeper into our relationship with Christ. Now is the time to repent, to turn away from anything that pulls you away from God, and to fully embrace His will for your life. Don't panic, trust in God's plan. Too many believers are stockpiling supplies and rushing to make last-minute preparations out of fear. But our God is not a God of fear. He is a God of peace. He doesn't want us to panic. He wants us to trust. If you are walking with Him daily, then the rapture will be a moment of joy, not panic. It will be the fulfillment of all the promises God has made to you. You won't need to frantically check off spiritual boxes. You'll already be living in the fullness of His grace and love. The message I want you to carry from this video is this. Live each day as if Jesus could return tomorrow, not because you're afraid of being left behind, but because you love Him and want to honor Him with your life. Whether the rapture happens on October 9th, 2024, or many years from now, the important thing is that you are ready, not just for the rapture, but for every moment in this life and the next. A prayer of preparation and repentance now, as we conclude. I invite you to join me in a prayer of preparation and repentance. Let this prayer be a moment where you realign your heart with God's will and invite Him to guide your steps from this day forward. Heavenly Father, we come before you with humble hearts, seeking your grace and mercy. Lord, we know that the time is short and we long to be ready for your return. We repent of anything that has distracted us from walking in your ways and we ask for your forgiveness. Cleanse our hearts, purify our minds, and help us to live lives that are pleasing to you every day. Father, we see the signs around us, the warnings in the heavens and on the earth, and we do not take them lightly. We ask that you would prepare us, not just for a specific day, but for a lifetime of walking closely with you. Strengthen our faith, renew our minds, and help us to be the light in a world that so desperately needs to see your truth. Lord Jesus, we believe in you. We believe that you died for our sins and that you rose again, and we believe that you are coming back soon. Help us to live in a way that reflects that belief. Let us love others as you have loved us, let us forgive as you have forgiven, and let us walk in your ways every day. We pray for your people around the world, for hearts to be awakened, for minds to be renewed, and for souls to be drawn to you. Help us to be watchful, to stay ready, and to remain faithful until the very end. In your holy name, Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen.